woman at the center of a viral video who claimed a man threw a brick at her head because she would not give him her phone number is now wanted by Houston police. This story got national attention after that woman live streamed what she claimed was the aftermath on Instagram and started a GoFundMe. I'm in Jamaica! <laughs> Did y'all know that Brick Baby had that rump back there like that? I was down on my looking to hit me a lick, ready to get into some since I was a jit. I had big dreams of getting rich. Now we leveling up in this. Take a look at my kids. You know we stepping on toughest. The first one to get hit don't make me send a blitz. My head is itching for it. How long to spit like a list? But wait. Whoa. Oh, now what's the more from the Kane deal? Welcome back to Sheldon's Bullet Gas Studio. We come to kick it, vibe out, and shoot the shit with Sheldon. And I appreciate each and every last one of y'all for pulling up. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's go and get up into this video of today. All right, today we got Brick Baby. Yeah, or Brick Lady, like some of y'all refer to her as. I like to say Brick Baby. But anyway, Brick Baby, she has finally been arrested for her scamming ass scheme. You understand me? Uh, Brick Baby, she went viral last year. For claiming she was hit upside the head with a brick by a man who asked her for a phone number and she declined to give it to him. You understand me? Uh, she had a big old knot upside her head. And it did look like she was hit with something. But anyway, she went viral after she recorded herself or went on live filming herself talking about the fake situation and publicly shaming men standing around who didn't, you know, jump to her defense. You feel me? And then she managed to rack up $42,000 on GoFundMe, which is why the police is coming after that ass. It's not looking too good for Brick, baby. But anyway, I digress. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you're a newcomer around here, let's go and see what's going down with Brick, baby. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Woman at the center of a viral video who claimed a man threw a brick at her head because she would not give him her phone number is now wanted by Houston police. This story got national attention after that woman live streamed what she claimed was the aftermath on Instagram and started a GoFundMe. Only KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is talking with the prosecutor on this case tonight. He joins us live near the gallery with the latest, Bryce. Daniela, Houston police got called to this street in September, and when they arrived, the woman seen in that viral video told them that an Uber driver threw a brick at her head and then tried to kidnap her. But tonight, she has become the focus of this, this criminal investigation because Houston police say the surveillance footage captured by cameras on this street doesn't match her story. Mm. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. This video with more than a million likes on the Shade Room's Instagram page captured the moments after what appeared to be a brutal attack in West Houston. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. The woman is 33-year-old Rhoda Osman. What have I ever done? So, even though it's a fake story, I'm trying to figure out what did she expect those dudes to do that was standing around that was supposed to jump to her defensive like where he at who because she we can get him right now where he at if they didn't see it how are they supposed to come to your defense it don't make no sense to me but anyway to anybody in my life to deserve this seen here in tears in a hospital gown she told the detective that responded that she was hit in the head with a brick after she refused to give her phone number to a guy on the street. And was that verified by any of the evidence that detectives looked at? No, that was not verified. Harris County. Was it a guy on the streets or was it an Uber driver? Shit, which one is it? Did she say both of these? <laughs> And her story just isn't adding up. You know what I'm saying? Prosecutor like, Keith Houston says surveillance videos from that early September morning show Osman hitting a man first. So she's the one who, the, she was the aggressor. She was the aggressor, yes. And it was a water mm. bottle that hit her, not a brick? He did have a water bottle in his hand, and we think that's what left the mark. According to court documents, she asked someone else to launch this GoFundMe for her recovery, raising uh. more than $42,000. But as the story went viral, a blogger on TikTok called police alerting them to this 2020 GoFundMe, Whoa. which claimed a vicious assault by a... Hold on, what this one, how much... Let me move me out the way. $4,850. 4, 
Damn. Security guard in Minneapolis. So hold on, what happened with this one? I was trying to move me out the way so I could see the amount. Blogger on TikTok called police, alerting them to this 2020 GoFundMe, which claimed a vicious assault by a security guard in mm. Minneapolis. Detective Thornton verified with Minneapolis police that there was no assault done at that time. It was completely fictional. Prosecutors allege theft by deception and believe she would have received all that money ha. had the campaign not been shut down. The violence Damn. that I have suffers on September 3rd is just unbelievable. I can't even believe I'm here. They try to leave me for dead. In an Instagram story posted Wednesday, Osman addressed those who have doubted her. I actually have things going on in my life. Mm -hmm. I actually have real ways to make money. I don't have to get a GoFundMe for money. I actually can earn income because I'm actually educated and I actually right. am talented. Oh, okay. Okay. And tonight, a spokesperson for GoFundMe telling KPRC2 GoFundMe has zero tolerance for the misuse of our platform. The fundraiser has been removed from the platform. All donors have been refunded. And Rhoda Osman has been banned from using the platform for any future fundraisers. Osman did not respond Easy. when I reached out to her on Instagram this evening. Tonight, she is wanted here in Harris County on that theft charge. Anyone with information on her whereabouts can report that to Houston Police. <laughs> oh, I know where she is. I know where she is right now. I'm in Jamaica. <laughs> and this is such a <laughs> big deal because this Did y'all know that Brick Baby had that rump back there like that? Is that is that natural or is that that BBL? You know understand me? They say she didn't get that money from that forty two thousand, so she couldn't purchase no BBL with that money. Did she already have one? But was she born with it though? Goddamn, Brick Baby. This is what I'm talking about when I say I'm taking my life back brick by brick. Pun intended. <laughs> what? You taking your life back and your ass on the run? Is because that what you mean? Four months ago when this incident happened, I was afraid to check my mailbox. I didn't think that I could ever go out by myself. You was afraid to check that mailbox because you thought it was going to be... uh. Subpoena in that motherfucker or something? Or something? <laughs> what, what, what? And as a woman that has been on her own since she was 16 and has traveled over 20 countries and most Why of they the put this music over it? By herself, that was just so depressing. But here I am on a solo trip that I decided five days ago that Solo I trip that you decided five days ago by your damn self that you finna chunk the deuces up to everybody in the states get your ass up out of there yeah i believe your ass can still get sent to america from jamaica you feel me yeah 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 i think they can send your ass right on back it's gonna go on and i'm here and i feel protected divinely protected and i wish that for all you better go to cuba black women across the diaspora because black women we created this world we deserve to explore it we deserve to enjoy it we deserve to see it and this is just a big deal like this is progress and i'm so proud of myself for doing this and i'm trying to learn how to live my life safely and mm -hmm. enjoy it i may never be the carefree girl i once was oh but i wonder why on a different foundation and i'm solid as fuck yeah. i'm in jamaica <laughs> your boyfriend down to my instagram to all them busted ass hoes that you kiki with Nah, that ain't natural. Can't be, cause look at when she. It ain't. It ain't got no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It stayed in place. Yeah. That is brick baby. <laughs> look like she on the run, if you ask me. But hey, who am I? Let me know how you feel about this in the comment section below. If you vibed all the way out to the end, I really do appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm sure the vibes. I'm going to need y'all to be cool like the other side of the pillow. Stay light on your toes like you're supposed. Oh, yeah, no. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, God.